Hello everybody, Jimmy Promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we're going to talk about what to do if you accidentally locked yourself out of your Samsung Galaxy device. Now, it could be just as simple as if you forgot whatever your PIN or your password was, or maybe you, when you initially set up your PIN or password, you put in the wrong number or letter. Now, you could be watching this video for one of two reasons. The first reason is to make sure that this never happens to you. And as long as you follow these two simple steps, we'll make sure that you are not locked out of your phone. Or number two, you are locked out of your phone right now at this moment, and you're trying to figure out how to get back inside of there without having to lose everything. Now, if you are the second one there, I hope that you do have a Samsung account set up. And as long as you do, you're in good hands. Just keep on watching this video and we'll get inside of your phone again. Now, I guess the third scenario could be that maybe your phone is at your friend's house or it's at your house and you need them to get into your phone to get some particular information, but you don't want them to know whatever your pin or password was because maybe it's something you use for a couple different accounts. So let's first off look over at our phone here and let's say that we want to try to get inside of there and let's say that it is 9639 and we know for a fact that that is what we set it up, but it's not working. Um, and so if you keep on trying it and trying it and trying it and you can't get into your phone and you're trying to figure out now what the heck am I going to do? Now, as long as you follow these two simple steps I'm about to show you here right now, then we'll, we'll make sure that you are set up properly. Now, to start this process, you do want to pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon, and as you scroll down, you see the option for cloud and accounts. Now, underneath here, you're going to click on accounts and make sure you have a Samsung account set up. If you don't have a Samsung account set up, click on that add account click Samsung account, and then you'd be able to log in. Now, most people, when they set up a Samsung account, they use pretty much the same email they use for their Gmail account, just so it's much easier to remember. Now, this Samsung account usually pops up at the very beginning process of when you first buy your phone, where it asks you to sign into your Gmail, sign into a Samsung account, uh, whatever you wanna use for your pin or password or lock screen. Do you wanna move over your content? Things like that. Now, if you bypass that, this is how you can go to your Samsung account, log in, and once you have that set up and you have your Samsung account logged in. Now the very next thing you're going to do is go down to your lock screen and security. And as you scroll down, you're going to see an option here for find my mobile. So this is how it's set up initially. It tells you here, you can locate and control your phone remotely if it is lost or you forgot how to unlock it. You can check the terms and conditions at the website below. This is the website that you go to. So if you are locked out of your phone right now, head over to the HTTPS colon slash slash findmymobile.samsung.com. And once you go there, then you are able to unlock your phone because these are the, the toggles that are automatically turned on with that Samsung account, the remote control. So you can allow your device to be controlled remotely. You also have the Google location services. So then this way you'd be able to accurately see where your phone is if you're trying to locate it. But I also do suggest turning on the very last one. So you can send the last location as it falls below a certain percentage level. So let's say it's moving around a little bit, but as it gets to 10%, wherever it is uh, last at, at that 10% or 5%, it's at least sending you the location. And you're going to head over to that website. So right here, you can see that we are at that website, which is findmymobile.samsung.com. And then this is where you'll be able to log in. And then right over here, this is where you're going to put in that email that you signed up for for your Samsung account and then that password. So once logged in, you're going to look at the map of where the location of your phone is. But I did move this just for the privacy of my own sake. Um, on the left hand side over here, this will show all the different devices you have logged in with that Samsung account. Now, this is all blurred out because it does have personal information, but you want to choose the device of what you're trying to look for. Now, on the right hand side, this is what is important. It's letting you know whatever your battery life is of that device. It'll let you know if it is online and if you have those remote controls on, which was the settings we just did a couple minutes ago. Now, also, you have the options of making it ring. So maybe you don't know where your phone is, uh, but you know it's in your house. You can actually make it ring right now. You can also lock it, erase data, do all this other stuff. But here's that option for unlock. So we will do this in real time. So right here on my computer, I'm clicking unlock. It's going to ask you to also type in your password one more time just to confirm that this is you on this computer. And once you do that, you're going to see that it will unlock on my phone over here. All right, so I am not a robot. Password's typed in. I'm going to hit next. And then now what you're going to see over here on the phone is that it should be able to be unlocked. So here is a little uh, couple different icons that you saw on my on my always on display. 
and I didn't even touch the phone and this thing already unlocked and went into find my mobile. So what's going to happen is that the device is found and your lock screen is reset. So there actually is no lock screen on your phone. So as I said from before, if your friend needs to get inside of this phone to get information for you, now you have it unlocked. Or if you didn't know whatever your password was, um, you're, you're definitely knowing and letting Samsung know that this is you because you knew whatever email and password was set up for your Samsung account. That is why it is secure. So now you just wanna head back right over into your settings and you're gonna go down to your lock screen and security. And then this is where you're gonna type everything back in if you want your pin to be put back in as well as your biometrics so you can put in your fingerprint and everything else and just like that i put in my little pin right back inside of there and now i have this thing set up so i hope that this video has helped you guys out this is super important of having a samsung account not only can you unlock your phone but you can trace it you can locate it you can make it ring you can wipe the data you can look at your calls and messages and everything else and this will work with any device that you have that samsung account on so it's not just for your cell phone but you can also do things like this with your tablet so if you guys like this video make sure you guys please give this thing a huge thumbs up if you have not subscribed already make sure you hit that subscribe button on the very bottom left hand side make sure you guys hit on that bell for notifications so you get more videos like this share this video with your friends and family and social media sites and outside of that i'll see you guys later